Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and take junk and turn it into home decor that we sell at our shop here in Lehigh, Utah and online at jamierayvintage.com. Today, we are gonna be making some milking stools. Yeah, and so these milking stools, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, they're not doweled in, so I will not be standing on them. We are going to use some dowel screws. They'll be plenty sturdy for like, a small child but mostly decorative purposes and i actually have to run real fast because i forgot my drill but i'll be right back because i know right where it is all right because <laughs> i and need that i'm just mixing up some milk paint we have the col the milk paint color of the month is o olive which actually i can show you it's our barstool color and i swear i grabbed a sample of it to show you guys because i wanted to use it today and I forgot it. So I'm actually gonna be using um, a sample of basil mixed about two parts basil to one part Sweetie Jane. And we're gonna get close to O Olive, but it'll be darker. But it's 35% um, off for the entire month of August, 2023 at jamierayvintage.com, all sizes. Sample all the way up to a gallon and you don't need a code. So we're gonna be showing you guys how to do some chippy. Yesterday, if you guys watched us, we did um a shop tour and then we showed a bunch of stuff that we cleaned out of the barn these are rounds that we've had forever in the barn we used to sell them um, when we were doing the woods products and we have just four left and then these are actually spindles from the banister so these were in our barn too the banister at the church that's now our shop we saved them and we've been slowly working our way through them and we do sell like the full length spindle. Do we have any full length? They're about that tall. Um, the bigger ones, a um, couple. We have them at the shop. But anyways, we're going to be making these stools out of them. And I've got just one part milk paint to one part warm water. I'm just stirring it up. So Zeb is trying to make sure that he puts his <laughs> legs on at the correct location. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky said I made her buy more stuff. It's good stuff. I'm actually surprised that we still have those milk paint, the corbels with the flowers, because those would be so cute milk painted. So if people don't buy our parts, I'll paint them and sell them in the shop. But I'm trying, we're trying to thin out the herd. Thank you. Caitlin dropped um, the information. The milk paint color of the month is O Olive. It's 35% off until the Oops. end of the month. And today it's the last day of our stencil brush sale. So if we can get to it, we plan on stenciling the tops of these. You know what, should I go ahead and just darken to crepit it while you're- Yeah, you out? might as well. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna play around with this one for a minute. I got everything out but a paintbrush, I don't know. I have a headache this morning, so I don't know. We're, we're not at full speed here, is that what you're trying to well, say? Well, you got your allergy situation happening I because moved, of all the hay. Moved like, I don't know, probably 60, 70 bells of hay yesterday, and it's been a long time since I've bucked hay uh like 30 years long time no 25 <laughs> and it uh it's taking its toll on me all right so i just marked in the center i got this fancy uh it's called the power tech center finder and it does 90 degree angles and round angles and oh, this is or so round curves i guess is how you would say that and so you just drop it there, make your mark, easy to find center. So now I'm just gonna punch a little, uh, not a countersink, but I'm gonna pre-drill these so that it doesn't split the wood. And these this are just what... little quarter inch dowel screws. They're one and a half inches. Let me show you close what this these This is are. what happens when you don't clean off the top of your, this is like sealer. So be careful, wipe the top of your lids off before you put them back on. I'm using dark and decrepit. It has a built-in sealer and it looks like dark walnut and it will seal this wood up nicely for a good undercoat. All right, the dowel screw is pointed on both ends and that's, that's why we're gonna use it. So just in that hole I drilled and just get some pliers. I'm not gonna worry about chewing up the middle threads because those are gonna be buried in the wood. They're not really gonna be used anyway. And I'm not worried about 100% full coverage on these because we're gonna put milk paint over the top of them. I might actually also put some sealer too, like an extra coat, just because I feel like it chips better the more sealer it has. 
when you're doing raw wood with milk paint, you want to have a nice barrier between your milk paint and your base coat. So that way you can get it to chip. Oh, that's the wrong one. Did you still not find that old olive sample that you were looking for? Yeah, I have no idea. I mixed basil and sweet, We grabbed one this Jane. morning. It's probably sitting like out in the garden because you had it in your hand and went and started weeding in the corn. Uh, well, because Buttercup was mooing at me and she likes these one kind of weeds and they were in the corn patch because we, we've done really good to weed the garden. We don't have that many, especially not any big ones. But in the corn patch, there's like big weeds. And so I was, Zeb actually couldn't find me. He's the like, corn's, Jamie, The corn's Jamie. getting plenty of sun. And then I popped right up out of the corn patch because I was doing errands for Buttercup. She's pregnant. She likes it. Yeah. Make sure you guys hit the JRV sale collection so you can see if we have any corbel parts left. What we are doing to these wood rounds and legs, you could do to any of those pieces to make them look like old salvage. If you don't have dark and decrepit, you could also use um, layered chocolate and then just use a sealer like Sweet Pickens Final Finishes. So it's called Final Finishes. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to grab a heat gun, heat okay. gun these, and I can flip them over, do the other side. Actually, so this, I might just. This is going to be the tricky part. I don't care. It's going to be painted over. Okay, that's. I'm going to commit that that's the first. That's the first leg there. And I have these cut at a five degree angle, so they should tighten down at that angle. That the tops of these, they're not flat there. If angle. you guys ordered craft kits and you were like later in the month, we should have the stencils here today. I need to double check tracking. Um, so they'll get shipped out in the next couple of days. We had to order more stencils. And we did not really over order craft kits. So I'm not thinking we're going to have any extras um, because occasionally craft kits get lost or damaged. And so I ordered a few extras for that. But if in like three weeks, everybody has theirs, nothing got damaged and I have extra parts, we will sell a few one-offs because I am trying not to be a hoarder. I, <laughs> I have other craft kit parts just hanging out. I was actually thinking if it's like the cutouts, I might try to look up what we included in it and then pull the craft kits back together and then list whole craft kits for people. Because I think for the holidays, that would be fun. Oh, Caitlin says a craft. Oh, Odelia, if you're still on here, the stencils are out for delivery today. Are you still good to help get those out with Kaziah? Okay, I'm going to go grab the heat gun. I'm, I'm just guessing on this. The beauty of a three-legged stool is that they always sit flat. They're never, they never rock or tip. So if you did not have these rounds, if you just have wood and you take a plate, you can use that for your round top and then just use a jigsaw and cut it out and sand it. And then just leftover spindles, chair legs. There's a lot of things you can use for, to make these little stools. I'm going to, I'm going to milk paint probably the whole thing. Jeannie says, remember to share this live. Um, this week we are going to have four winners because we missed a week of winners. I think we're actually going to, we are, we've decided to pre-record the thrift haul this week instead of doing it live with a guest uh, host. Only because it's a it's huge, huge. Thrift off. <laughs> it's huge and it'll be much easier to get through and do some projects at the end of it if we pre record it. And it's so fun. I'm like, I want to do the thrift haul. Like, I want to tell you guys all about what we bought. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we will announce it. I, we're, we'll pick the winners today. And then we'll put it in that live so they'll be announced on Saturday. If you guys only follow us on Facebook, make sure you, sure you set your alarm because it will just go up like a regular video, not like a live. And so the notifications are not the same. We never get as many views when we pre-record 
on Facebook. On YouTube, we do fine because they let us do like a premiere, which is basically the same thing because you have there's co live comment section. But Facebook's a little weird. Oh, reflections. I'm glad that we could hang out together. Diana says, cute stool upcycle. The other thing, too, is if you don't um, build a stool like we're doing it, you can find these stools thrifting, junking. You can even take a bar stool, just cut the legs down and then sand them. Where there's a will, there's a way. Nope, that's the wrong way. Oh, I didn't do the back of this one. There we go. <clears throat> So those look like they, my legs are a little tall. Do you want to shorten the other one? But that's all right. I could cut them I down think, if I don't, I don't mind it actually. I like it. I think they're fine. Honestly they're, though, if I cut them right here at this joint, they, I think it would be about perfect height. That'd be too short. I cut it like Well, right I don't there. have a saw here to cut them anyway. We're we just took gonna all my saws over to the barn can... when we cleaned out the garage. But we have, because I cut these down. Oh, I need to sand these real quick. Because I cut these down, we have like the other ends of the spindles, so we could get like six more legs out of it. Did, well, are we? Did you get enough for these four? No, or I just didn't, two. I only made enough for two. Well, why am I doing four tops then? Because you're ambitious. I was going to leave those raw and just show them that we had a couple extra for them if they wanted to buy them. Well, you'll be cutting more legs afterwards. We'll get them all finished and painted. Apparently, we're making four. All right, that four. one over there. You can put the legs on that one. Okay. Zeb was cooking eggs and filming a reel for the Jamie and Zeb channel right before. I used the fermented zucchini and it's good. It's really good. It's salty, so we really have to add salt. But yeah, that's why we, we didn't talk about things because Zeb was busy multitasking. And I was doing my hair and makeup, which I mean, it takes about. This is an eight, eight minute look. Makeup, wash my face, put my makeup on and do my hair. <laughs> but you only had three, so we got yeah. to work on that. I didn't have three. I had five and I took eight. <laughs> oh, Olive is the milk paint that's on sale. Yeah, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in the Jamie and Zeb channel, it's our separate channel where we put things like random baking recipes and canning and gardening and uh, demo. <laughs> We might have a few extra of these rounds um, when we're not live anymore. I'll throw them on. I need to check. I know we have one over there. It needs to be sanded, but I'll just sell it as is. And then I think we might have. I know I put one that has a dowel screw in the middle online last night. I just don't know if it's sold already. Yeah, that one, I'm not taking the dowel screw out. Melissa says to be nice. I don't know if she's talking to me or you, but. Probably nice. me, because I'm rushing you to get your makeup on. Oh, I think you're pretty all the time, so I don't care. I'm going to tell you makeup. right now, um, <laughs> he's pretty patient on camera, but if we are running behind or whatever, like. I'm an on-time guy. Occasionally. Like, stresses me out more than being late. He has been. And I don't get stressed. Uh, he has been uh, learning that, because I haven't been doing a lot of like, this is bad to say, but like making sure that my face is washed, making sure my hair is brushed. Uh, making sure to put lotion on my feet. And I'm like, I'm going to start doing some like regular basic self-care because it's time. And so he is not used to me not just like being, okay, let's go. I'll go the way I am. And I'm like, nope, I'm doing, I'm brushing my hair today. I'm doing my makeup. I'm putting lotion on my feet. He's learning patience. Is that all needed? Is that all needed? Yes. Yeah, some of us have hair. <laughs> And my I mean, feet, because of my I've thyroid, my feet are so bad. I've encouraged you several times to just shave it. Every time you're hot in the summer and you're like, I hate this long hair, I'm like, just shave it off. It'll be fine. I, I live every day and it's no, no problem. I'm not shaving off my hair and you wouldn't like it. You like my hair long and you know it. You don't like to tell me you like my hair long because you don't want to feel like, you don't want me to feel like I have to have long hair, but you prefer me with long hair. I actually prefer long hair for me over short hair because it's so easy to take care of. And when my hair is long, it's heavy, so it pulls. I have like this weird natural wave that's not really enough to do anything with. So when it's heavy, it makes it straighter. So if I do want to curl it, it's easier. So now you've learned all about my hair. <laughs> time is the only thing you can't. Don't waste time being late. I. Zeb, it's not even that I'm late. Zeb wants to be 15 minutes early, no, and 10, I'm like 10. If you're not 10 minutes early, you're late. 
That's the rule. Sorry, I'm not going to be 10 minutes early. So you just have to get in your mind that like, if you got to be somewhere at four, 350 is when you actually have to be there instead of leaving at 350. If you start going at me for being late, what happens? It takes what? It takes a lot longer because you put your foot down and you're like late on purpose. I know. It just, I have to tell you what's up. So that takes a minute. <laughs> Uh, when that other one go? There it is. And it's funny though, because when he like, he likes to be on time and he, when he's ready to go, he is ready to go. But when I'm ready to go, he's like, wait, well, I got to get this, this, and this done. So I have to like, sometimes I have to be like, first, this is a good marriage advice. Cause I know his personality. I'm way more chill when it comes for time to go. And he is not. So I will ask him, how long will you be? That way I'm not sitting here annoyed wasting my time when I could be rotating the laundry or whatever. And then I can know what to expect. Let's just say I don't try to be early to go to things like grocery shopping. Yeah. If it's something he doesn't want to be early to, or he's not excited about, then he takes his sweet time, which is fine. We've, we've worked it out. <laughs> things you'd be early to church and football games, practice, stuff like that. Anyways, at any length, that's, that's helped out a lot. And then I'm able to get things done because but there's always something I could do if I know that I have an extra 10 minutes because that's printing stuff or whatever. There's always something that can be done. We, we both have a, a busy, long schedule, so there's a myriad of things we could be doing. All right. These actually are pretty quick and easy to build. Julia, life is too short to be early. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my Julia, girl, I do like to be. I'm not putting that on a shirt. <laughs> I do like to be on time. I don't like to be late, but I'm also not like one to lose my crop if we are running late. Um, Leslie, this is not layered chocolate. This is web, um, darkened or crepit. Although layered chocolate could get you the same effect, but if you're distressing down too, just know the darkened or crepit oh. will not. You didn't get it in there. You missed um, the dark and decrepit will not come off the layered chocolate. You almost need to like do a seal coat on top of that. And this has the sealer built in. That's the big difference. Um, Jeannie says, my husband says, let's leave at five 30. And then at five 10, he starts getting ready. And he's like, are you ready? That is Cooper. Like if you tell that he, that's why, that's one of the things Zeb and him are like the same on. Like if you tell Cooper, okay, we're going to leave at 10. He is here at nine 30 staring at you. I, I, I just think, that's a good kid i just think the best thing <laughs> is to like understand your your partner or your spouse's like way that they run and then work around it i feel like we've done pretty good yeah every now and then i'm like listen linda <clears throat> although we have been sitting in the nosebleed at church the last we were weeks. in our corrects that's because we there have been things going on and family coming to visit people been sitting in our pew <laughs> There's not a signed pew. The only problem with sitting in the back at church is because people in the back don't sing as loud, and then I can actually hear myself singing. So I do prefer to be to church on time. That is a preference of mine. Okay, so this this actually is just so cute the way that it is. You could let this dry and white wax this. Maybe we'll do that. And be done. Yeah, maybe we'll do one like this, and we'll do one with milk paint. Do the milk paint one first, though. Yeah. Well, I. Otherwise, gotta, it oh won't yeah, dry. that's right. Let me heat gun this and then I'll get milk paint on it. That's, that is wise. I'm literally eyeballing this. The three legged stools, like you can, you can measure till you're blue in the face. They're going to stand flat no matter what you do. Be careful if you are using a heat gun. This does have a built in sealer so it can bubble. Diana says we all have an unassigned pew. <laughs> yeah. We have church at 8.30, so getting there at 8.15 on, after being up till about 11 every Saturday night, it's it's a struggle. Yeah, after but we, we get, get done there. cleaning the thrift hall, by the time we get to sleep. And in my defense, when the girls were little, I got them ready. So it's Zeb's job to get the boys ready, but he also has a cow. And sometimes this boy don't like to get up early. And so why are we running late sometimes? I'm ready to Why go. Why are we running late sometimes? And so are the boys. The, actually, the only thing I got to help the boys with is Jack needs his now, tie. Now who's, not, now who's not talking about the situation? The boys sometimes, are usually in the car ready to sometimes rock. Sometimes we, we're supposed to leave by 820. That's the goal because we don't live far from church, so it's not, not a big deal. And sometimes Zeb doesn't get back until after 8 from milking. Well, he's not even milking anymore, feeding the animals. 
And the boys don't even really have hair to do. I used to have to do the girls' hair. Where's your apron? It's, it's me with actually it. hanging in the garage right now. I have one. No, and my Jamie red and white stripe here, apron. So. I'm actually selling one of my grain sack aprons on the thrift haul this week because it was up in the laundry room and I haven't used it. For, I have another one, but it was like my second one. I haven't used it in a year, so I decided to pass it along. So don't miss the thrift haul. You can get a, a apron that I actually wore that has paint all over it. Oh, that one's backwards. I thought that was looking funky. Are these stools decorative only? Um, no, you can stand on them. Zeb probably wouldn't, but I I'm not going to stand on them. But I'm like a solid 230 right now. They're supposed to be look. They're supposed to look like milking stools. And actually, these legs are the perfect height because milking stools do have disproportionately like tall legs. They are sturdier than I thought they would be. Yeah, they're pretty. Especially actually, since you put let's the let's give it a test. The dowels are in there tight. Okay. Yeah, it's holding me. So you can use these. All right. I didn't think the dowel screws were going to be strong enough, but everything's good. It's good to go. What am I doing with this? Milk painting? Um, yep. You might, can you go get a brush for that? So we're going to go ahead and milk paint that one. This one, I'm going to put some more dark and decrepit on it because there's a, like, these were outside for a long time. So some of the finish is missing on the legs, but uh, we mixed up basil. Degree. Oh, I did not do a good job of mixing that. We mixed up basil and Sweetie Jane because we were trying to get close to O Olive because I left the O Olive sample. All right, so you can see that five degree. Is there a angle link for there. the banister spindles? There is not, I don't think. But I will, I will get some listed. Do we have any full size ones that I can photograph? Let me just double check. Uh, do 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 do. Products. I am actually going to put some glue in this one. This one, for whatever reason, is loose. Spindle. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Bannister. All right, I'm not seeing this. I will, um, yeah, they would be good plan sets. As soon as we're not live anymore, I'm gonna count how many I have, photograph them, and I will list them. They'll probably be about $13.95 each because they're long, so kind of a pain to ship. Like they don't fit in a regular box. So they're gonna they're gonna cost more to ship than our website will charge. But I will get those listed today. I'll count them up for you. Is it five degree both ends of the legs? No, I just did the five degree on the one and then sanded the bottoms rounded. There you go. I stirred that up for you. Okay, I'm gonna just come in and because this one I wanna leave with just dark and decrepit. I'm gonna stand white wax it. There we go. It's already tighter in my mind. What's tighter? Um, this one was loose for whatever reason. Oh. I put some glue on it. Oh, I need a brush. So yeah, you I mean use your own discretion. I just stood on it, but they only have three legs. They're actually designed to sit on. They probably aren't super sturdy if you're like trying Over to reach up Over 200 pounds, I don't know that I'd sit on this. I'd just say they're probably not super sturdy if you're trying to reach up into a cabinet. They can tip because they only have three legs. Yeah. But the milking stools that I have seen usually have dowel screws in them. They're usually not picked. Like usually you could take the screws off. I was hoping we could like screw them in, screw them out, but I wouldn't do that. They just make it easier for shipping. I mean, you can, but Molly, Molly, if you want to, you oh, this one had a, like a broken leg. That's all right. Oh, this part there. of the charm. Molly, if you want to Salvage. email info at jamierayvintage.com. As soon as we get those uh, spindles listed, then Caitlin can send you a link. We're we're running through them. We don't have too many left. I think we got like I think we have some in the shop. I think we have some of them 10. might have like a one side at an angle because that's how they come off the banister. But they can still be cut down to be used for this. All right, I'm just making sure because I'm leaving this one. It's just cool because these are from the the church. Yeah. Now it's a shop, but you know. They're from our well, when they well, and they weren't from when it was a church. They're actually from the remodel. Yeah. When they took when and put an house. apartment in the sanctuary, 
there was a loft that they put in there, and these are the banisters from the loft. The and sanctuary. we definitely couldn't leave. It's a chapel. Is that, I thought that's what they call it was a sanctuary. It's a chapel. We call it a chapel, but I don't think everybody calls it a chapel. I try to use words that everybody knows. It's still a chapel. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, in the chapel. Now it's a vaulted chapel. Like when we say steak center, that doesn't mean a place to get meat. In Utah, that means the bigger church in the area where multiple congregations meet together for meetings and stuff. <laughs> it comes from the Old Testament. Steak does? Yes. Oh, there you go. And I should know that. I just feel like there's sometimes there's words like we call it. Uh... Because, because all the steaks represented like tent steaks. Oh, because they were intense. When you were out in the desert, yeah. Out in the desert, they wandered. All right. I'm just really getting a nice full coat on this so that way it looks even and nice and stained dark. It has a built-in sealer, so I'm going to see if I can find some white linen to stencil with because then I won't have to seal my stencil. I'm just not sure what we have here. I could use crockery oh that's a little bit of white linen that'll work i'll paint the bottom of this once the top is dry i don't want to flip it over i probably should have painted the bottom first i messed up and got excited and painted the top. can you do we want to do I'm trying to think we, i made a lot of milk paint so we're gonna have to get those other ones yeah you did fairly quickly i'll just i just gotta run to the shop and i I'll, thought i had given you enough to make all the legs but you did yeah. i just didn't cut them all oh okay what I didn't give you was time. No, you didn't give me instructions on how many you actually wanted. <laughs> I didn't give you instructions. You never said, hey, make me four of these. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I'll be back on in a minute. I'm just deciding what stencil to use. This is the, uh, what do they call this DIY brush? Is it the, the, I can't even remember. It's the French cut brush. I don't know. I still have yet, guys, to organize my supplies. Do you remember what this brush is called? The Perfectionist? Perfectionist. It is a French tip, so you're not wrong. Yeah. But it, that's not yeah. what it's called. I knew. I couldn't remember the name. Sylvia said that she loved that you said I look beautiful anytime. Back. I feel like that's important because he sees me at all times. So hopefully, hopefully he doesn't. He enjoys the scenery. Liza, what is up on top of the fridge that you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, the steak is S-T-A-K-E. What? It's what? Tweezers. There's some in my drawer where my oh. makeup is. What? Do you hide your tweezers up there? No, I do. Oh, Dad does. You hide them on top of the fridge? Yeah, so that I know I where they're always at. I found some in the laundry at. room the other day. If I put things high up on top of the fridge, no one in this house is looking for anything up on top of the fridge. That's funny. Actually, I just got to make sure this top is dry. And then I can always find them. Apparently, someone got into them because she didn't find them just now. All right, so this stencil that I'm going to use is one of our transfer wear stencils. So it looks like old school transfer wear, and I thought that would be good for the stool. It's a, it's bigger than the stool, so it'll just get a little bit on the edge. The question is, how do I? That's how I know. I'll make sure the flowers are all about the same. I would put it with the legs, like one of the no, legs. No, what? I oh, would straighten it with one of the with one leg. No, I'm going to put it on like this opposite in between the two like so it's the just two center legs. it on something center. <laughs> I, that is true i'm just making sure it lines up i can't this is the house one caitlin do you know what stencil this is the transfer wear the house transfer wear i don't know i'll wait for her to look it up but i might be able to just google it eliza though i'm live so let's not Let's not get my ADHD going and talk to me. Oh, I thought you were asking me a question. Like, you start getting me distracted and I don't... Oh, English... Nope, that's not... The Cottage House. So I'm using the Cottage House stencil. Caitlin, when you get a second, would you mind linking that and the stencil brushes? Since I'm giving people an eye twitch, I'm going to get this apron on. We sold out of those sage green aprons yesterday. That does really? a lot look a lot similar to oh olive. Look. I think it's because it's got the dark. This is lighter, but 
because oh all is what's on my bar stools. Okay, I'm gonna use this is the cream that we made. So this is white linen mixed with crockery. I'm gonna stencil. Usually I make Zeb stencil because he's better at he's neater. You can do it, just dry, dry brush. And I'm using the cottage color because it has a built-in sealer, so it'll I won't have to seal it when I'm done. Just remember when it feels like it's going long, still still stay dry. Don't go juicy. Don't don't get bored. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go throw this out in the sun really quick. And then uh, hopefully that'll dry enough that we can get a stencil on it and we'll distress it. Oh, how long have we been like this? Oh, I think it just happened. It's only 10.33. Okay. Are you selling the stools? Yes. These will be listed on our website um, probably by this afternoon because it'll take me a minute. They'll go. I'll probably put them in the home decor collection and the new to JRV. I want to get all four stools finished because I know I won't ever come back to them. If you guys are in business coaching, we missed business coaching, like flat out missed it yesterday. So we will, we will be live for business coaching at 1.30. I was hauling hay. So that was hauling and hay I and I was even, just loading the thrift It was hot up. and I wasn't looking at the clock and didn't even think about it. We have not flat out forgotten a long time. And there was really nothing in particular going on. Like we're just going about our day. I think it's because we're out of schedule because the kids have football and cheer. It's just like yeah, and it just started, transitioning. So it started back up. I'm going to have to really be diligent about checking my calendar. How's that stencil going? Good. Me? Do you want to go find another stencil? We can stencil one more of these and then we'll save one. So we'll do two milk painted okay. and then two in the dark and decrepit. Which stencil brush is this? It's a half inch. People ask me which stencil brush to use. Is today the last day of the stencil this brush? This is pretty though? universal, but if you have like a big stencil, I'd use the fat brush. The nice thing about our largest stencil brush is it's great for waxing. That's what I use it for mostly. And then you want little stencil brushes if you're doing like skinny, skinny detailed stenciling. What did you say, Zeb? Today is the last day of the stencil Today is the last though, right? day, so you can get them 20% off. And they won't be on sale again for a good long time. So get your stencil brushes. Get some extra. Get some from your mom. If you don't stencil, get some for waxing. They're great for detailed waxing, putting gold wax, dark wax, all those things. I'm just going over a few areas that were a little light. Because once I pull this up, it's not going back. I probably did get it underneath because I'm not as diligent about not being juicy. Okay. So when you're stenciling, it's important to have a good stencil brush and a nice thick stencil. Ta-da! I actually did pretty good. Do we even yeah. still make this stencil? Or was this a one-off? What? The, you, you have a Ray Ranch and Cattle Co. The Ray Ranch, I think one is, uh, is to retired. It's retired. I mean, we could order more if somebody wanted it. I look refreshed and cute. I washed my face last night and this morning. That's like, I don't know the last time I washed my face at night and in the morning. You did it both times. We have really good skincare. Like that's the thing that's stupid about me not doing self care. I literally have all the things that I could need for my skin because we have JRV skincare that's top of the line, super clean, great for your skin. And I haven't been using it. I'm gonna go today. My sister Renee needs some of the what is it called? The glow, it's like our oil. I can't even remember the name of the product. That's bad. But she, I'm going to get some for her, but I'm going to get some for me and some more toner and some more face wash because I'm running low. All right. This, we're going to let dry. Do you want me to go check on? Uh, it was already pretty dry. This this wood is just soaking that paint okay. up and, this, and the dark and decrepit too. The only thing that that stool that I just finished is going to need is I think I might white wax it just to oxidize it a little. All right. I don't have a ruler here with me, so I'm just going to like put myself a little story stick where my thumb is and make sure that I'm pretty much 
centered. Oops, I moved it. Because it'll look funky if it's not centered. Can I use your brush when you're done measuring? Yeah, does it need oh, it's hand? not retired. The Ray Ranch stencil is. And the Ray Ranch is real. Like we bought 40 acres and Zeb's going to put some cow on, cows about, on it next year. About 180, 200 acres to be a ranch. But... If it has cows, it's a ranch. Or is it a farm with cows? If it's just cows roaming around on property, I would call that a ranch. What would you guys say? We don't need a hundred. We just got to get water out there. Yep. I may even just, because it's very, very expensive, almost as much as we paid for the property to get a well, well, dr uh, wells drilled. Rights. And you have to buy the water rights before you even can but get you a can well do a driller surface out there. Well, so we could try and just yeah. do a surface well. And yeah, you can go 25 feet down. But you still have to have water rights. Oh, I thought you could do a service well without water rights. No, you can collect up to 2,500 gallons a year on water catchment without any permits. Gotcha. But that's probably not enough for cows. Buttercup will drink 10, 15 gallons of water. Yeah, we a don't day. want to be hauling water out there. You're right. And she's a small cow. Just have to find somebody that wants to sell us some. But yeah, you can't even get a well driller out there if you don't have water rights already purchased. Well, I wouldn't do it illegally, so I would have to have... I didn't know that that you had to... There's a lot of rules out west here about water. Well, and right. The, uh, there's a few people that have it, and they don't let it go. <laughs> it's rightfully so, because you... Could only can't get more water. It's just the way it is. But I mean, we could we could haul it out there, but I got to get a road first. Like I could haul it out there myself. Baby steps. That's why I said next year. Um, Laura, we do still sell it. We aren't doing it wholesale anymore because we didn't have enough demand to keep up with selling it wholesale, but we do still have the JRV skincare. Caitlin, could you drop a link to that? Can you get a second? And I can, I can get more because I have, it's um, made in Washington by a female apothecary uh, friend of mine, and it's really good stuff. I'm not very good at like promoting that kind of stuff. Like I said, I just barely washed my face at night and in the morning for the first time ever. Anna says, I have 12 acres with water rights in Northern New Mexico. Oh, nice. New Mexico probably has similar uh, things with water. Yeah. We, we know that there are some people wanting to sell land or develop it. So they're going to have to figure out water. So we might get with them. We might just get on city water. Yeah, we need to if, talk because it's not that far we're from in the city, city limits, actually, with our 40 acres. So <clears throat> We dream big. So I always go as far as the dream as, as I plan on taking the dream right from the start. Because if not, then why did I start? Why did I get it? That's already pretty much dry enough. I can distress this. Would you grab the white wax? Yes. I think I'm probably going to use the same stencil on this one. It'll be cute. Laura says that I don't talk about it anymore. I know I'm, I'm bad. I'm like not a really great at, sometimes I do really good at being a, a influencer brand owner. And then sometimes I'm not, I'm not great. I forget to talk about things. Oh, a wet distress. Yeah. I'm trying to make, so it's hard when it's 
It's pretty much on raw wood. On raw wood to get it to get chippy. So I'm going to see what I can do here. Okay, here's some white wax. If this had like a lot of finish on it, then you wouldn't really want to heat gun it and do what I'm doing. It might all chip off. But because this is basically raw wood and the spindles were pretty raw, I'm just using a damp cloth to bring back some of that base layer color. And then I'm going to heat gun it and that should get us to chippy. Veronica said that they had a baby donkey born on their farm. Nice. We're about to have a baby cow. Yeah, buttercups, she's, I'd say she's got about a month and a half to go, mid-September. All right, I'll bring this up close so you can see all the crackle and chippy that happened. And I just used dark and decrepit and then milk paint. And then I wet distressed it and heat gunned it. And that that's what that's how you get raw wood to look old. You can do the same process with MDF. So if you buy any of our off cuts in the sale collection, you can make them look like old salvage just by doing the same thing. The wet distressing and the heat gun, you could use a blow dryer. It's really helpful. Buttercup is definitely, uh, she's definitely getting pretty pregnant. Her stomach is so tight. She likes to get it rubbed. Is she grumpy? I don't know that she's necessarily grumpy. She just wants what she wants. And if you don't give it to her, she tries to like nudge you with her horn a little, she's which to her is just be like, hey, wake up. To me, I'm like, hey, those are my ribs. I need those. <laughs> She, is, she, she doesn't like nudge you hard. It's just a horn. She and it was so feel good. cute yesterday while Zeb was getting her hay all loaded in. She was so happy. So I'm just going to sand it smooth because I had a few chunks in my paint. And because it was not quite mixed up well, some of those chunks are Sweetie Jane's. We're getting some really nice variation. All right, let's see if you can. Can you guys see the crackle? No, nah. it's good. I, can they, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, they can see it. So it turned out good. I'm going to go ahead and. <laughs> Jenica said decaffeinated. <laughs> that when she has her calf. Yeah. Just sanding the edges because they were just a little rough. Emma wants to see the one that's done. Is that this one? Yeah. Stop focusing. I'm coming, Emma. Let's stencil this one. Might wet distress this a little bit more. See if I can get it to crackle a little more. There we go. Get a little more crackle. Then I'll stencil it. Now I'm sad because I have time. I could have put this together. I, well, you can. Are you going to stencil on top of this? Why don't you milk paint this and we'll stencil this one. Okay. Because we're going to do two stained stools, two milk painted, but Zeb just has to put the legs on these. We'll just have to remember to line up the design when I'm putting the legs on. That's You're going to have to remember. mental note can you, for me. Mental note, Zeb. Okay. Where's that? Can you give me the white linen, the stencil brush? So this is your crockery white linen. So mix. this is the, is this the apothecary labels? I think so. Caitlin, can you look up what the name of that, what's, that's a mini set. We have a bunch. We have crockery. We have, it might be the crockery ones. We have grain sacks. I love labeling. We have some, we'll ha probably have another stencil release the end of August. I've got to take some time this week and get all the rest of my designs over to the graphic designer. Um, we will have a paper release on Friday. Oh, yeah. I completely spaced talking about that. So if you have a local okay. JRV retailer, you can check with them, see if they've ordered paper. I'm telling you, maybe we've had 20 retailers order. So definitely check. If they don't have it, then you can come to jamierayvintage.com. We will have those available for purchase at midnight. Um, it, when the clock strikes midnight, it'll be available on the website. So very early Friday morning, um, mountain time. Yeah, the new papers are fun. We've showed and teased out a couple. We've got 11 new designs. I guess 10, one is half of a big paper that you've already seen. 
Um, and we're still shipping out. So if you call your retailer and they don't have, they haven't ordered the new JRV rice papers, um, tell them to order and we'll get them shipped out. I have all, most of them taken over to the shop, but I do have some that are printing out now. Let me see what I have printed out and I'll show you the couple that I have. The little sneaky They'll be peaky. available Friday. Um, don't show them all of them. No. Little teaser. We made these stools from scratch, Joan. We had some old wood rounds that we used to sell, and then we used some reclaimed banisters from the church remodel when we turned it into our shop and we pulled out the apartment they had put in there. And Zeb cut them at a five degree angle and made little milking stools. I love, whenever I find these in the wild, I always buy them, but they're hard to come by. And sometimes they're really expensive. Like you can pay upwards of $15, $20 just for the stool and it needs to be made all cute. Sometimes even more than that. These will probably be like $39.95. Maybe $42.95. I always forget to take into account that it costs, many times it costs us more to ship than we're charging for shipping. So I have to make sure I'm charging enough for the item. Somebody the other day was like, oh, I would order online, but your shipping is too expensive. I'm like, you're telling me it costs so much to ship stuff. We try so hard to keep it reasonable. It's one of those things. All right, let's see if this stencil turned out as good as the other one. Oh, it did. That's cute. All right, I'm going to show these. So a couple of these you've actually already seen. This one, I don't think you've seen. We did an autumn paper like we like to do with the little cards. And this is rice paper, or you can decoupage it or just frame it. I think it's fun for fall. This one does say uh, best wishes for Thanksgiving. The rest of them don't, don't have any words on them. So that's one. And then this, the, you guys said you liked the cow scene so much. This made the cut with these cows and the two boys underneath the tree there. Might be two girls. I can't tell. They're very small. That one, that one made the cut. And then Jamie, the oval frames that were so popular, Jamie uh, split this one in half and put it in the oval frames. And it is also going to be available. But there's three of the 11. Caitlin, they're the advertising stencils. Oh, she found it. Okay, sorry. I looked up mini because we have a bunch of mini sets. So if you like stencils this size, just go to jamierayvintage.com, go in the search bar and type in mini stencil, two words, and all of our mini sets will pop up. I'm going to grab... I'm going to go ahead and heat gun this because we're not getting the chippy we want anyway. Yeah, you need you got to heat gun it. I'm going to distress this a little bit. to make this look a little weathered. Wipe that off. And then we're, we don't have to put this wax on here to seal it. It's already sealed with the dark and decrepit, but I just want to add some age to this piece. And white, wa white wax is a great way to oxidize the dark and decrepit to make it look old because what happens to it's stain very stark without that yeah what happens to stain over time is it'll start getting faded especially if it's outside it'll get white and weathered and this is going to help it do that and it'll just add an extra layer of protecting to it protecting protection This is DIY white wax that we carry on the website as well and in the shop. You don't have to buy a big one. You can also buy a little one, especially if you're just doing little projects like this. A little thing of white wax would work good. And I'm using the, is this the one inch stencil brush, I believe? Yeah, I'm going to go get a different stencil to put on to that. put it on here. I would not want to use a full size stencil brush <laughs> to put it on something like this because they're like too flat. You can't get it down in the cracks. It's like so, such a, so I like to use the little ones.
You know, this actually looks just like Buttercup. She's got short little horns. How did I learn about paints? Trial and error. I've been painting since I was like furniture and stuff since I was what, like 13? We've been in business. I didn't know you then, but sure. Yes. <laughs> we did business together. We've been doing business together eight over eight years. And then I started the business before Zeb came on um, when Redrick, who is now 12, was about one. So like 11 years. Yeah, and even before that, I did stuff. We've been reselling and doing stuff for neighbors for probably 15. Yeah. And we've been married 22 years. And I have painted and re upcycled stuff my whole life. Most of our furniture we've had in the house. We bought like one new couch, but I our bought, very first couch was from Goodwill and, and I upholstered, upholstered it with my mom. Yeah, I never upholstered anything before. My mother-in-law's well-versed at that. And so she helped me and we were, we'd only been married maybe three weeks and Zeb went on a road trip with his daddy, drove truck for him and we got it done in like three days. It was cute. I used blue denim with yellow piping and it was darling. Let's just say after doing mini upholstery projects with you since then, I'm glad I wasn't there it, for the couch. <laughs> not because I'm bad to do projects with, but just because it's That's a, lot a lot of work. Of work. <laughs> yeah. You've done other couches. We've done them in drop claws and yeah. stuff. Yeah, we've, we've we done We couldn't afford upholstery fabric, so that's why I used denim. There are more like economic options now, but then you can really find like duck cloth fabric. Well, how do we attach these? We used dowel screws. Yep. They're a quarter Good. inch by one and a half inch. They got pointy screwy ends on two sides. So you put one side in your leg and one side in Earlier your Earlier in the video, I showed them up close. I could show them again. If yeah, if you watch the replay, this. you can see how they go together. I'll show you guys this up close here in a minute. Thanks, Connie. She said we do great work. We're still learning. It's, it's like, you know how they say doctors are practicing? I'm practicing. I'm always learning new things. Well, there's like a, sometimes a zillion it's, techniques on what you can do paint-wise. Sometimes it happens because you do something like wrong and you learn. It's like a happy accident. All right. So I've got the cow outline there. I'm just going to fill her in real quick. Now, if you get this and you're like, it's too white, I don't like it, you can put clear wax over the top and use that like an eraser. Just really making sure this is buffed down. Would What would you seal a transfer on a mirror? I don't. I just leave them the way that they are and dry clean it, like dry dust it. If you take like a rag like this, spray the window cleaner and carefully clean your mirror and don't spray it on directly on the transfer, you don't need to seal it. If you were worried about it, you could use Big Top and an artist brush and just go over the transfer, but if you get it on the mirror, it's going to look funny. I might clear wax the top of this just because I want to bring that stencil out some more. Didn't we just pick up another clear wax? Up? Yeah, there's a new one in there. <laughs> we were all out of clear wax at the house. There's my cow. Let me see. Oh, that's cute. It's Buttercup. Yeah, it looks just like her. It does. All right, so I'm going to put clear wax over top of this white wax, and that'll help pull off some of the white wax so the stencil pops a little more. And this raw wood took the white wax way more than the leg, so this will make them look a little similar. I mean, it's not super raw anymore, but you're using uh, porous paints and... It still had no sealer on it where the legs had a lot of sealer. There you go. So now we've got like an aged, oxidized look. And it's still stained. It looks like it's been hanging around for a while. So this one is done. This one I'm going to go ahead and clear wax. I'll sand that. Because the milk paint is not have, it doesn't have a built-in sealer. I'm using 220 sandpaper, in case you're wondering. The milk paint is just like the DIY paint. It's going to get darker, and then it'll lighten up a little bit. Now the question is, 
How could you remove transfer from a metal? You could sand it off or, yeah, I don't know. Maybe use a magic eraser. Depends on how it's attached, how porous the metal is. <laughs> what? What are you, what are you um, laughing? This is wrong. I just picked that up. Like, I just made that up. Oh. I just picked a date. I know. We were married in 2001. I know. You made me question it, though, for a second. I had to stare at Harrington it. Was and born then I was, like, doing the math on, like, how old Harrington was. Harrington was, was born in 2002, so maybe he <laughs> I'm was. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> maybe he was the first cow on the ranch. <laughs> I think I was going to put some of these words on there, but I think I'm just going to leave it with the cow. Yeah, these could be good uh, footstools. We call them milking stools. I did. I did uh, half the cow. That's how big the stencil is. Acetone, Leslie says that would work. Yeah, that's smart. So, so this is pretty like close that. to O olive, which is the color on sale. O olive is a little lighter, but in the same family. This is basil and sweetie Jane is what we mix together. Vicky says she loves that. Look how cute. It's a milking stool with a cow on it. I mean, of, those are farmhouse. Now. These are definitely cottagey. These look like transferware plates. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. We got milk paint <laughs> on the bottom side of here. I tried that, but it didn't work. Acetone, so you might have to sand it off. I think of it like it's a very small vinyl sticker. And if they sealed over the top of it, you've got to get through the sealer. You got to get through the sticker. Start with it as a fine sandpaper and work your way up. We're talking about removing an IOD. Yeah, I'm guessing it's an IOD transfer. I don't know. If it's something else. So I... there was a like a <gasps> gold heart or roses or flowers or something on that cloche I thrifted the other day. And I just used uh, a razor blade and pretty much scratched it off. It didn't even scrape off, uh, but it worked pretty good. I don't All know right. what I don't know what application you're using, like if it's on a glass or a mirror or something. But... It's 11 o'clock and it's perfect timing. All right. So we'll show you these. These are going to get legs on it off camera. Those two are already finished. We use the JRV stencil brushes and stencils. Don't forget that the stencil brushes are 20% off. Today is the last day. Today is August 2nd, 2023, right? <laughs> we use dark and decrepit. Um, the milk paint we made, uh, Old Olive with basil and Sweetie Jane, but you could just order Old Olive because that's on sale the entire month of August. We stenciled with cottage color in white linen mixed with a little crockery. And I think that's in clear wax and white wax. Those are all the products. That's I like, it. To, that's all I the like stuff. to say it at the end because it helps Caitlin. It helps you guys know what to get at jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, please hit that share button. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode.